Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to episode 13 of this one trunk at a time Ardun Iron Man trunk locked account thingy I really need to come up with a better name for this Anyway, yeah, in the last episode we ended up rolling Sears Village and then Witch Haven which was our security blanket for level 80 cooking because you get a shock, a raw shock from the, the chest in Ardy Castle but then it teleports you to Witch Haven and then, lo and behold, the next chunk I rolled was Ardy Castle. So therefore, I do have to get to level 80 cooking. Yay! Luckily, I have a shop here which sells sardines. And I also need to get to level 73 crafting because I have unlocked a furnace with the Ardy Castle chunk. Now, that isn't a bad thing because this is by far the easiest and most efficient way to level up my crafting. Any other way would have taken much, much longer than this. We also had access to a bunch of quests of this unlock here. Unfortunately, I was only able to fully complete one of the quests. The rest of them, they've either got really high requirements or they take me to chunks that I do not have unlocked. So. I could only do one, I almost completed uh, this one, Temple of Ikov, and I could have had this rollable, but I didn't know the charter ships sold swamp paste, I thought they sold swamp tar. And that's about it really, that's all there is to talk about. So I'm, in this episode I'm going to be exploring the Ardy Castle chunk a little bit more because I didn't really explore it all that much in the last one. And I'm just going to do the grinds, I think. Yeah, there's not really much else to talk about. I'm sorry this episode took over a month to release. I have been super busy in real life. I suddenly had lots of real, real life responsibilities, such as starting a new job and getting used to actually working again and being a working class citizen. So yeah, but I think everything's all right now. I'm fine. I'm all settled in. I can start playing RuneScape more. I can start getting on with the grinds. And also these two grinds are they're, they're quite long, so they're, they're taking me they're taking me a while. So I I want to again apologize for the long wait. Willow, please get your bum out of my face. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I do have a Discord channel which is in the description below in the form of a link, as always. And if you want to see the trunk map, that's also in the description below. I do also stream sometimes, some nights, there's no schedule or anything, it's just whenever I have the energy to do so and I want to stream. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the episode. Future Inuks here, just in uh, post editing, I want to give, I want to give a shout out to one very, very special guy. He, um, he recently shouted me out in his latest episode. And it got me like 25 to 30 subs or something like that. Which obviously for my account that is just that's awesome. That's that's a lot of subs. It's close to 1000 subs. So yeah, uh his name is Bowser. He he should be up on the screen right about now, like covering my character's face. He um he of course has his own YouTube channel. And he he is a Falador chunk man, a chunk man just like me, just starting Falador. He has some, he has got some very special grinds, and by special I mean he finds he finds unique ways, more unique than mine by far, unique ways to gain experience and do the grinds that he needs to do. He also likes to eat microphones, and by that I mean he he streams on Twitch as well. If you want to go catch him when he's streaming, so yeah, thank you very very much bowser and i hope i can return the favor so yeah thank you very very much bowser here's your shout out you deserve it mate love your videos all right level 10 i can now spin lax but uh i think just going for silver bars and gold bars is a, is a much better xp than that but i think i'll just avoid the flax for now so before we move on with the cooking and the crafting grinds i want to look at this rat catcher mini game quest thing whatever it is talk to jimmy dazzler dazzler mazzler what's your name on your business here uh i don't know i'm just i'm just here mate i'm just talking to you i don't know what's going on now get gone from here you'll attract unwanted attention uh so how do i how do i start this rat catches then all right i can't i can't do anything i can take this rat trap can i no i just okay 
<laughs> Basically just epitomizes everything I don't know about this game. Lucian, mate, you're here, right? Uh, so he doesn't want me to meet here again, but he's always here. So I don't know why I can't just give him the staff here. Like, why do I have to give him the staff at the Grand Exchange? That's quite annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm going to have to wait to finish that quest for a very long time. So it's looking as though I can't do the Rat Catchers minigame. Maybe I need to go start it somewhere else. I guess I'll just quickly Google that and have a look. Uh, I need to have done the Rat Catchers quest, which is in Baruch, and I need to do a couple quests before that as well. So I can't do this for a long time also. The joys of being a trunk man. Uh, you're, you're kind of locked out from a lot of content while at the same time being stuck in very, very long grinds, which, which, take, which can take up to weeks at a time. All right. Well, anyway, back to back to crafting, I guess. This room is my ticket to the wilderness. I think this lever takes me straight to takes me straight to the wilderness all the way up here. And then this lever can also take me to Edgeville. But this is great. I can this is my ticket to the wilderness. I've got there's a scorpion boss over here and there's the Wilderness Agility Course, and there's the Mage Training Arena. There's, there's, it, it actually unlocks quite a lot more content. So I'm not actually not going to get to the Wilderness the, the normal way. This is the way I'm going to be getting to the Wilderness, right into the very top. I could even unlock the King Black Dragon quite early on if I'm lucky, but I doubt it. It's still a few chunks away. A 20 crafting, I can now go ahead and cut sapphires. And then I can make them into sapphire bracelets later on for high alchemy because I'm told that gives the best high alk value. I finally get to use this mythical pickaxe which I grinded so hard for. When I say grinded I waited for genies and school books. Yeah this is too slow I'm just gonna go back to Puro Puro and catch eclectics for the five gold bar loot uh, jar things. Okay. Yeah imps are also too slow I've been here for quite a while now and I've only got 30 gold bars so uh, yeah uh, yeah so I'm I'm kind of fed up of having such a low agility level um oh, I've forgotten the money so I, I want to go to Brimhaven dungeon now that I've unlocked Sears village and Sears village is level the Sears village rooftop course is level 60 I'm not so worried anymore about unlocking Drain the Village if I get to level 10 agility because that means obviously I would have to train at Drain the Village from level 10 to level 60 which is nowhere near as bad as level 10 to level 90. So I think I want to go to Brimhaven and use the... I want to use the shortcut there to train my agility up some levels and get some more run energy because I'm sick of like not having any goddamn energy. It it would make all my grinds, especially the crafting grind, like so much faster. Eh, maybe maybe it's a bad idea. This is a uh, this is incredibly slow. I thought it would be a, a much faster than this. I have to like do loops around. The entire time. I mean, I could be patient and not do that, and just like, uh, I mean, I mean, keep going, and just like get to a point where I can use a shortcut and just keep doing the shortcut over and over again. But I'm too lazy for that. I don't know if I really want to do that. This is crazy. Look at this. This is <laughs> the first day of Group Iron Man. There's so many people. Just like out and about doing all this low level crap what the hell oh that's mental i've never seen it i've never seen rooms get this busy since i was like i don't know 15 years old or something wow okay <laughs> so anyway i got i got bored of agility <laughs> i just i can't make my mind up can i i didn't get bored i just came up with a, an amazing idea that uh, i should be able to plant plant chop down magic trees magic tree logs and then just use them to cook the sardines at the cooking shop and I can high elk all of my iron plate bodies to make 500k although I'm not really sure it's the best way of spending my nature runes so maybe I can high elk something else but for now I can just spend like 100k on sardines and just see see how far it gets me all right so 
I'm just cooking sardines right now, burning logs and cooking them seems to be the most efficient method right now. Uh, right now I am at 36 days and 14 hours, so let's see how long this takes you, me, you, me. Spoiler, it's gonna take a long time, but for you, just a few minutes. So I'm talking to this guy on the pier at Witchhaven and he's telling me to get myself over to Falador, which obviously I can't do. He's like guiding me to the... So the old knight dude, who, which, who I guess is going to give me a quest for this place. But obviously I can't do that, which is a shame. You know what, first of all, I'm going to I'm gonna go get that shark, just to be 100% sure I can get the shark. I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to, but just before I, just before I grind to 80 cooking, let's just go ahead and do it. Where is this chest? Uh, is it in here? I don't think so. Nope, nope. Let's, uh... Ah, there's, there's loads of chests. Let's try over here first. The door is locked. Pick lock. You fail to pick the lock. Okay. Whoa, 50 XP for that. That would have been useful. What? That would have been so useful on my thieving grind. What the hell? Hey, there you go. Adam and Orb, Raw Shark, and an uncut sapphire. Oh, it's uncut. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. I don't think I quite fancy running from here to the castle every single time, though. So I've just realized I only need to get to 76 cooking because I have access to Chef's Delight, which between level 60 and 80 cooking gives a plus four boost to cooking, which means it is around 20,000 less sardines for me to cook. So that's a huge time and money saver. So I'm actually really glad about that. I'm really happy about that. So many people. Group Iron Man. Having people personally come over and make fires for you just so you don't have to carry a tinderbox and chop trees every five minutes makes everything so much faster and so much easier. I love it, it's great. Hey, another genie lamp. Uh, let's put that straight into construction. Confirm. So I need 28 more, 28 more speed to level two, but then I've got a bunch more to do after that to get to level 10. Great. So uh, I could have actually done the next part of Sea Slug like I thought I could. Uh, oh no, is it going to take me to the fishing platform? Please don't. This is a... Uh... Okay, good. Wait, no. Okay. So yeah, I should have definitely 100% have, have had this rollable on my last chunk roll. That's uh, unfortunate, but yeah. 34 farming. I can now grow Gulaga Malala flute in Hosidius. Awesome. I have done some mapping and it's gonna be around 10 and a half thousand soda ash and sand to level 73 crafting. That's after smelting it into molten glass and blowing the, the the molten glass 1000 2000 another day another tree another farming level level 35 only one more level and i can start planting bushes finally 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 Eight thousand million euros. Nine thousand ash and sand. Ten thousand. Oh my god, so close. Ten thousand five hundred. Um, words. What was I gonna say? Yeah. So now I need to go to. I need to go to Ardy and use the furnace there. Hopefully, I can just sell these noted to the general store there near the furnace and then just buy them back but sadly i've only got 6700 coins so what i can do is i can just buy out some some plate bodies wherever they are there, there they are i think it's like 330 each so it, it's it's enough it's enough to fund it if it works if not i'll have to use the bank which obviously will make the grind take longer but it's not it's not that much it's only 10,000. it's not gonna take that long Another day, another tree, another level. A for the six. I can now, I can now grow dwellberries and grapes. I don't know how you grow grapes, but yeah. There you go. I can finally use the the bush patches. Although it's quite a lot of work. I don't know if I just stick with a banana tree. Honestly, I don't know. Let's see. Whatever, whatever takes my fancy. 
Uh, well, apparently Iron Man can't buy from the shop even if it's their own product. So, oh well, I guess I've got to, I've got to, I've got to use the bank. That's annoying, but hey, it is what it is. Ten thousand, nine thousand to go, seven thousand to go. I totally missed eight thousand. I just forgot to record it. Six thousand to go. 5,000 ash and sand to smelt in the furnace. 4,000 to go. <laughs> you have no idea how much time is between these clips. Perfect. I'm gonna put that into construction. Uh, not quite. Two more lamps, two more books, and then I'm level two construction. God, it's so slow. I can't believe I lamped all the way to 1700. That's crazy. 3,000 to go. That was quick, uh, next day I guess, uh, that's lucky, put that on construction, I've only got, I think it's 8 XP now, and then the levels will start speeding up a little bit, but not by too much. 2000 to go, just got the fishing event after a, a long ass time, this should get me to 27, there you go, I'm better, I'm better at fishing now, I'm better at fishing. So if you look in the chat here, there's a guy that said, hello YouTube, that was all. Uh, I didn't manage to record in time, but he, he left. So shout out to this guy, Game Cracker. 1,000 to go, but I think I made a mistake. Yeah, I'm dumb. I, I, I didn't maths properly. This is all I've got left in my inventory. And I'm only 71 crafting. I'm like halfway through 71, 500... Uh, molten glass to go but yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know how i miscalculated that but i did i i, I guess i i don't know how to maths and there we go 1700 of each this should be enough to get me to um 1000 oh 73 73 crafting is what i'm trying to say clearly my mathing skills aren't that great so i could be wrong i could need more than this but uh, I think I've done it properly this time and this is how many I need. But let, let's see. I'm not that far off 72, so it should be right. Hey, there we go. 73 crafting after my little math smith, miss, smith, miss, mishap. 73 crafting. Hey, so now we can uh, we can go stand in Witch Haven for who knows how many more hours and cook myself up 24,000 sardines because that is the only way well it's not the only way but that is the fastest way to level up my cooking 26 25 i don't know i'm not even gonna try to maths anymore a lot of sardines i'm gonna need to cook a lot of sardines to get this up to level 76 then i can boost it to level 80 with that drink that i got from pure pure i don't know it's been a long time since i was there i can't remember the name of it so yeah, I'm going to go to Witchhaven and I will see you guys over there. Oh wait, first we need to actually process the red dragon leather because, you know, the whole point of me doing that crafting grind was to process this. There we go. Make that into red ram braces. Hey, even though I've already got some that are actually slightly teeny winty bit better. There you go. I've processed the red dragon hide. Excellent. Wait. I need money first. I don't have any. I don't have any money. I don't want to. I don't want to waste all my nature runes. Uh, so I need to go and figure out what the best way to use these nature runes is. Maybe it's just a catch eclectics and uh, high oak, high oak there. These few drops that they get that they give me. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've been trying to get into pure pure since world, pure free. And I can't find, I can't find the pool. Am I doing this wrong? I used to be just one or two world hops. And now it's like, you must do 50 hops to get into Puro Puro. <laughs> ah, come on. What is this? What? <laughs> Did they secretly change this? So you can't, the only way you can get to Puro Puro now is through Zanaris. Like what? Am I going to get up to 100 worlds before I find the portal? This is ridiculous. Come on. I'm just gonna go to Brimhaven. All right, so I'm gonna enchant this diamond amulet so I can make an amulet of power 
And there we go. I'm gonna pop. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All those stats are completely free. And I'm back at Arden Knights. It's it's quite easily the best way for me to make money right now. It's just the most efficient way. It's the fastest and it's really relaxing. I got a school book. Let's put it in construction and get level two. Ooh. Oh my god, I can make brown rooks. Woo, another fishing event. I'm getting loads of these recently. This should get me uh, halfway through level 20. Magic XP. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I don't need magic XP. I'm like level 74. Yeah, that's helped me so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, RuneScape. Being in this room again is giving me massive episode one vibes. Uh, yeah, it's just so weird like to think I was here back in January, just make uh, getting ready for episode one. Having no clue about what was gonna what was gonna happen after I uploaded the first episode. Ooh, another maze event. Let's. I got some coal and some arrows. Okay, great. And I'm done with the feeding grind. The rest of the money should come from the red dragon lever and higher can some plate bodies. I actually even got a feeding level from that, so that was awesome. And there we go, 310k. That should be enough for the sardines. It's about 26,000 sardines. So yeah, that's that's enough. I did use up about 200 nature runes to top it up, but hey ho, that's fine. I've got enough nature runes to last me, and this should be the last time I high elk some plate bodies. Hopefully, hopefully I find a better money make in the future. But other than that. Let's go cook some sardines. Thank you to Jerryon13 for making these fires for me. It's always appreciated and really speeds up my cooking grind. It saves me a lot of hours when people do this for me. Why Why is this weird, Jerryon? I don't understand what's so weird about this. I'm just, I'm just cooking fires. Cooking fires? Cooking sardines on a fire and you're just stood there watching me cook these sardines. I don't understand what's so weird about this. What do you mean? How is this even physically possible? I'm cooking through a door right now. Oh, okay then. Just got a mystery box dragon spear incoming. A level 70 cooking. Oh my god, that's so good. Speaking of fish, what's your what, what's your favorite fish to to eat? To cook and eat. Or not not necessarily cook for us, but just just to eat. Just just leave a comment, please. Thank you. Bye. In my infinite wisdom, I have over, over math how much GP I would, uh, I would need for all these sardines. So I'm, I'm probably gonna be left over like, I don't know, 20k or something. Go me. Did you know that if you tried to light a fire on this very, very spot here in Witchhaven next to our dune, just outside the fishing shop door, you can't light a fire, but only if the door is closed. But look, if I open the door and I light the fire, look, I can I can light a fire. What's that about, Jagex? Eh? Oh, I do like to be by the seaside. Oh, I do like to be by the sea. Do, 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 do. Hey, 76 cooking, mate. Come on, get in. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go cook a shark. I think I need like a couple sharks first because you know, I only, I've only got like one shot. If I've only got one shark because I've got limited uh, cooking boost thingies, chef's delights. I need to get like, I guess three or four before I can cook one. Cause I assume the burn rate's pretty high at level 80. All right, I got, I got two cause I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to <laughs> to get a third one. Ah, my God, I forgot the the drink. You know what? I don't even bloody have any. It's it's beer that I've got. I thought, <laughs> why don't I have any? I thought this was a. Uh, I thought I had some from the all those gourmet implants that I caught. Do I seriously not have one? I mean, oh, God damn it! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back to pure pure. <laughs> I just want to roll a new jug. Yeah, finally I got it. I got the chef's delight. Don't drink it. This took so long. Look at all the all the food. These are also one in a hundred drops. I also got an easy clue, which is in uh, East RD. But uh, I'd, I'd, we'll see. It's the first time I've got an easy that I can actually do. But I don't think I'll be able to do any more. Let's let's have a look. 
Yeah, no, I can't do that. Never mind. All right, I got my shift delay. I got five sharks because I, 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 I'll probably burn most of them. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go. Drink that. Eight cooking. Go, 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 go. Burn. Cooked. Hey, there you go. Yes. I can, uh, I can, I can roll. I can roll with it. I can roll a new chunk. I can roll, I can roll a new chunk. Yes. Get in. I love rolling chunks this early on. It's so exciting because, you know, when your account's like got stats like this, it's every chunk matters. Most, most chunks matter. Most chunks give you like something to do. So yeah, let's let's just get right into it, shall we? Let's let's get on the chunk map. Before we do that, sorry, one thing I wanted to uh, to show you guys was my playtime, 41 days and 36 hours. I'm sure it was something like 36 days, 14 hours or something after I was level 20 crafting. So that's that's uh, that's like four or five days, something like that. I don't know. Just, I don't want to math. There you go. Let's get on the chunk map. All right, so here we go. We are back on the chunk map more than a month later. So I'm going to go through the new chunks first. There's only three of them, don't worry. The first new chunk is fishing platform. It's not exactly new. It should have been rollable before. I rolled the East Ardy Castle because of um, I could have bought the swamp paste from the char ship here. I thought it was swamp tar for some reason, and I just never bothered to check. So that's on me, that's my bad, but it, it doesn't matter. It's just the fishing platform, it's just for the seas look quest. I did unlock West Ardoon, but literally just a little sliver here because I need Plague City to get into West Ardoon. And to do Plague City, I need 17, 20 and the combat training camp chunk. So it's going to be a while before I can do that unless I get these three chunks next. You never know, you never know. And the final one is the Wilderness Lever Resource Area Deserted Keep Chunk. And uh, with that, if I unlock this, obviously I have access to the Wilderness and I'm quite close to the Scorpion boss. And I will also be one chunk away from Edgeville, which will take me into the free-to-play mainland. And this already has, but this is more central it's it's next to varok so that's quite exciting stuff plus it would also give me access to edgeville dungeon oh god does that mean i'd have to do bro for you anyway let's not think about that let's not think about that so now that i've got to explain to you guys what the new chunks are and what they would mean for the account let's roll a new chunk i would want to get brimhaven or Cafferby next because i need agility so but i know it's in the level 90 agility grind but i need it so bad my running G is just horrible and I don't want to use the shortcut to level 60. It's just it's just so much of a grind. And Cafe B would give me a really, really good easy food source. It would, would be an efficient grind, but I'd be able to cook it all since I've already got enough cooking to cook sharks. I'd also like to get this because I think this is the closest boss, not, not including Giant Mole. I mean, it, is that even... Classes of boss, I don't know, does it even drop anything useful? I don't know, and that's the beauty of it, I don't really know. <laughs> so it's more of a surprise for me when I do unlock these things. All right, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit talking. Let me, uh, let me roll a new chunk in five, four, three, two, one. What do we get? Oh, that, that was so anticlimactic. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, this was unlockable because of this. This was unlockable because of this corner of land. My cat is playing in the background. She's making so much noise. I'm having to pause all the time. Yeah, that doesn't... I can't roll this because I need Port Siren for that first. But I've also unlocked this bit of Entrana for when that for when that does... Uh, for when I do unlock Entrana. So that's that's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad, I've, I, I'll unlock this quest. That didn't do anything, just uh, gave me more chance to roll all the other chunks. <laughs> alright, uh, right, let's... Oh my god, Willow, stop running around. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. Yes! Yes! Come on, Gaffer B. Yes, mate. Why... Ah! Oh. 
I should be mad because I've just got this stupid cooking ground, but um, I don't care. I've got ca oh, yes, this is so good. This is so good. I've got another fishing shop. I've got another ranging shop. I've got a cooking range next to the bank. And best of all, I've got all these fish. Oh my god, I can... Ah, oh, I've got a level 76 fishing grind now. Come on, let's go. Monsters. Eh, yeah, yeah, nothing new there. NPCs, blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, I need to pick this off. Should have done that before. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else there apart from that. I don't know what this shortcut is, but obviously I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I can't I can't get across to that. You can only get from the island to Caffaby. I had a look at that before. Can I do any quests? No, I mean, yeah, obviously it gives me a bit of progress towards quests, but that's about it. Let me take this off since I can't roll that without this i think i can't remember it's been so long since i've been here can i i can get up here i think i can get up here but then i have to gotta walk all the way around to get down here so i'd have to like unlock this this and this i think i don't know uh anyway let's go check it out let's go check out cafe b i think you all know what it looks like but hey ho who cares it's ah uh, that's brilliant by the way this is the this is the chunk I unlocked. This little sliver of land here. I got a new music track background. That's that's brilliant. Okay, uh, I got to I got to Cafe B now. Here we are in Cafe B. We are not unlocking a new music track because of my cat in I think last episode or the episode before that. So yeah, let's let's explore a little bit before we go to the seaside. What's in this chest? Nothing. Who's this? Ah, oh, this is the ranging shop. I just walked into a random building. I wasn't, I didn't know what I was doing. Why does he sell zero comp composite ogre bows? All right, anyway. This is the upstairs of the ranging shop. Let's see if there's anything in this chest. I doubt, I doubt there's anything in here. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here either. I can now go in the kitchen here and uh, talk to this Caleb guy. I don't know what he's... Okay, well, I just asked him to cook me something. He just said, no, go away. A bucket of water and a, a burnt fish for some reason. Maybe he's just not very... Ah, oh, pie dish. Okay, that's that's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was a uh, uh, the the next one, which is the pie shell, because I don't have access to any I don't have any easy access to flour to pots of flour, and I thought that was my answer, but it's not. I need to add flour to that to um to make the pie shell. There's a jail here with another bucket. Of water. What's with all the buckets of water? Why you have water right here? Why do you need buckets of water lying around all over the place? What? All right, yeah. Anyway, there's three chests here. I can't. I can't do anything with them. That was exciting. And we have the most important building, the fishing shop. I'm sure there's like a way to get a fishing bowl from this guy, a fish bowl helmet from this guy or something, or, or like a, a pet goldfish or something. So yeah, uh, anyway, uh, he doesn't even sell sardines. What a scam. Yeah, I can just buy these and crack on with fishing, I suppose. Let me just explore a little bit more. Ooh, pretty little wolf. Grapple crossbow tree. Yeah, that's to get from Tavoli Dungeon to here. Sadly, I can't go back to the island and get into Tavoli Dungeon. Oh, but not sadly, because that would give me a that would give me a level 79 crafting grind, and that's something I don't want to do. We've got another fruit tree patch, which is... That's actually pretty good, because I can keep an eye on that while I fish. And, you know, it's literally next to the fishing spot, so... That's actually really good. All right, let's 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 crack on with fishing then, shall we? Yeah, I'm fishing for the first time on the account. That's amazing. Getting me send some raw cod. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, anyway, one thing I did want to talk to you guys about was this shortcut here. I could quite easily get to level 32 agility from Brimhaven Dungeon. Well, not easily. It would take a while, but I could still quite feasibly do it but then that would mean that this would be rollable and i don't really want tavoli to be rollable just yet because it would give me an 89 craft 79 crafting grind with tavoli dungeon and the black dragons although that's not so bad i'm gonna have to think about it because it's around the same amount of um uh, molten glass as the 73 crafting grind was it's just that i'd much rather have like Furnace, Furnace, Edgeville unlocked, and that's literally just one, two chunks away. So, but this also unlocks Druidic Ritual though, it gives me one step closer to Druidic Ritual. I think I'm gonna hold off for now, because I don't even have that many herbal supplies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna try and get Edgeville first, for the, for the Furnace and Bank access, because that makes it extremely easy. 
and then I can get up to level 32 agility unless of course I unlock Brimhaven next we'll see but for now I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and avoid using having to use this shortcut and having this chunk rollable and that's where I'm gonna leave you guys hanging thank you so much for being patient with this episode I know it's taken me a very long time but I've had a lot of in real life stuff going on that's just taken up all my time I just haven't had as much time to play RuneScape I know the absolute horror of it all can't imagine the next episode is going to be to take that long because I've only got to get to 76 fishing and then I can roll a new chunk so yeah I will see you guys very very soon thank you very much for watching just as a reminder I do have a discord so if you'd like to join that that's great that you're most welcome Oh, I completed an easy task. I still need to do achievement diaries. Look, I, I will do achievement diaries at some point. I'm just, I just don't want to do them. I know I should do them as per chunk rules, but I, I just stop nagging me about it. So, um, yeah, we've got Discord, like, subscribe to the video on my YouTube channel and all that good jazz. All right, guys, I will see you all later. Have a good one.